This video will show you how to build a milker that feels like a Venus for men or Trembler for about $40, not including the receiver. There's no motor, valves, or any electricity used. You power this by yourself, like a bicycle pump. It isn't meant to be a finished product, just an inexpensive and fun way to see if buying or building is worth further investment. You only need a double-acting pneumatic cylinder and a polyurethane tube kit. The tube should be large enough to not restrict air, while keeping the flexibility that polyurethane provides. There are many options for cylinders that will work. The cylinder needs to be double-acting with a volume larger than the object in the receiver it is displacing. 200 milliliters is enough for most. A smaller bore is easier to cycle by hand, but long strokes are not easy to motorize. If you want to add a motor in the future, larger bores with shorter strokes like the SC50 are much better. The assembly is very simple. We just need to connect the receiver to the cylinder. We don't need to use any valves because we can change the stroke length as needed. You won't have a free hand to use them anyway. Wrap a tube fitting with the Teflon tape two or three full turns. Go in the same direction as the threads to prevent the tape tearing when tight. Insert the fitting in the rear port of the cylinder and tighten by hand. Then use a wrench to go one to two full turns more at the most. Too much force will damage the threads and cause leaks. One way to attach a receiver to the cylinder is with a female coupler. Install a male fitting from the tube kit into the coupler. Then install the coupler on the air core. Use Teflon tape for all threads, remembering to go in the direction of the threads. You can also use a female threaded push connect fitting. They're not as common as male, but available in popular metric and standard sizes for around $3. If you already have a receiver and hose, you can use a barb fitting with threaded ends. A male end can be attached directly to the cylinder, or a female end will allow using a push connect fitting from the kit. A hose clamp is all that's needed to be airtight. Push the tube straight in until you feel it hit the end, then pull back on the tube to make sure it's a solid connection. Push the plastic ring in while pulling the tube out to remove it. After five or so insertions, the ends of the tube will need to be cut off to maintain a proper seal.